sixth graders, we are on our decimals unit, and this lesson is on place value and rounding. So make sure you label the top of your notebook page with decimals unit, and then place value. And I want you to add in and rounding. So place value and rounding. Our learning targets are being able to identify place value of decimal numbers and being able to round numbers to any given place value. So this chart is something that I would like you to copy down into your notebook. So you probably want to pause me and write it nice and neat on the page that you're doing your place value notes. So the place or the decimal right here is read as and. So everything to the left of the place value is what we have talked about um, or what you've talked about often in third, fourth, fifth grade. Ones, tens, hundreds, thousands, ten thousands, hundred thousands, millions. So if we put a two here, then we know that we have two ones. If we put a three here, we know we have three tens and two ones and this would be read as 32. If we put a 6 here, this tells us that we have 6 tenths. So anything after the to the right of the whole number is fractions or portions of a whole number. So to the left we have whole numbers. To the right, we have partial numbers or portions of a number. We have six tenths of a whole number. So this would be read as 32 and six tenths because it's in the tenths place. If we add a one here, we would read this as 32 and 61 hundredths because it ends in hundredths. So then what we would say with our, for our label would be hundredths. Notice that tenths, hundredths, thousandths, ten thousandths, and with THS instead of over here where it's just tens, hundreds, thousands. So it's a huge difference if you have four thousands rather than four thousandths. All right, and so we can add numbers. The more numbers we add here to the left, the bigger our number is going to get. The more numbers that we add to the right, the smaller our number is going to get, okay? But it's very important to know we say the numbers to the left first, whatever it is, 4,532 and 618 thousandths. Okay, so whatever number this is, you figure it out, and then your and serves as the break between your um, whole numbers and then your decimal or fractions of numbers. So which digit is in the tenths place? of four and 685 thousandths. That's how I would say it. So the tenths place, as you recall, is the first digit after the decimal. So the first digit after the decimal would be six. Which digit is in the thousandths place of six and 321 thousandths? Thousandths, remember, is in the third digit to the right of the decimal. So we have one, two, three, and that would be our one. What digit is in the hundredths place of four and three tenths? Well, four and three tenths is the same as four and thirty hundredths. We can add as many zeros as we want after the decimal, and it's not going to change our number. 
So 4 and 3 tenths is the same as 4 and 30 hundredths. So 0 would be in our hundredths place. Now, if we didn't have a decimal, we would have 4, 43, 430, 4,300, 43,000, and so on. So we can only add zeros to not change the value of our number, only if there is a decimal. Very important to remember. Okay, rounding rules are very similar or the same if there is a decimal. So before you knew that you, or you know that you find the number that you're rounding to, and then if the number to the right is between 0 and 4, that number stays the same. This is something that you might want to write down. If the number to the right is 5 or above, then you increase the number you're rounding to by 1. So 24 and 2,938 ten thousands, because this is tenths, hundreds, thousands, ten thousands. So round to the nearest tenth. This is our tenth, which is two. We want to round to this digit. So we have to look at the digit next to it, which is a nine. It's greater than five, so we increase this by one. So to the nearest tenth would be 24 and 3 tenths. To round to the nearest hundredth, 9 is in our hundredth spot. We look to the right, which is a 3. It's between 0 and 4, so that means our 9 is going to stay. So 24 and 29 hundredths. Notice that I drop everything. I either make them zeros or because there's zeros after a decimal, then you don't even need them. And here I rounded up to a three, but I dropped all the zeros. Round to the nearest 10. So 10, not tenth, 10 would be this two right here. Let me get a different color. Okay, so I look to the right, which is a four. Between zero and four, it stays the same. So I would take 2, and then change my 4 to a 0, and I would drop everything else. So round to the nearest tenth would be to 20. The nearest thousandths, we have a 3. We look to the right, which is an 8, tells me to go up by 1. So we have 24 and 294 thousandths. Okay, and then... If we want to round the following numbers to the ones place, we look at, actually I want you to pause me really quick and I want you to solve these four problems right here. So if we round the following numbers to the ones place, we have two is in our ones place. We look to the right, which is a nine. That tells us to round up. So we're gonna round it to three. One's place is here. We look to the right, which is a zero between um, zero and four, which tells me to stay the same. So we're gonna round it to zero. Round the following numbers to the tenths place. This is tenths. We look to the right, which is a one. So it would keep stay the same, be 32 and zero tenths or we would just drop it and keep it as 32. Tenths place is here. We look to the right, which is a seven. It tells us to go up. So it would be 10 and four tenths. And then notice that I drop every, all the rest of the zeros. And then our last slide, I want you to pause me again and solve these four problems to the hundredths and thousands place, and then unpause me and check to make sure that you got them correct. So our hundredths place, it helps if we underline the number that we're gonna round to. Hundredths is the second one in. I look to the right, which is a five. It tells me to go up, so 
So I have zero and three hundredths, or we would just say three hundredths is what we would round it to. Hundredths is our two right here. Look to the right, which is a three. Tells me to stay the same, so I would have five and twelve hundredths. And then our thousandths is the third digit in. I look to the right, which is a two, so we have 14 and 78 thousandths. Notice that we keep this zero. We don't drop this zero because it's to the left of the number that we are rounding to. And then we have this nine, which is going to tell us to round up or sorry, we're rounding to this nine. This is telling us to round up. So if we round up, it would actually be to 10, which we can't have a 10 in the thousands place. So then that tells us to round up here to an eight, which is really tricky. And um, if you solved it, awesome. But really it would be three and 280 thousandths. Or we could then leave it as three and two hundred, or sorry, twenty-eight hundredths. Okay, make sure that you um, go on to Naiku. I guess I don't have a slide for that, but your you need to log into Naiku and take the place value and rounding Naiku quiz and then have a wonderful evening and make sure that you remember to have your notes in class tomorrow ready to go.